A civil society coalition in Nigeria is warning authorities not to allow the United States and France to relocate their military bases from the Sahel to the Gulf of Guinea countries, especially Nigeria. In a letter to the Nigerian president and the National Assembly on Friday, the coalition alleged that the U.S. and France are lobbying Nigeria and other countries in the region to sign new defense pacts, allowing them to deploy their expelled troops. They group argue that the move could potentially divert the government's attention and resources away from crucial local issues like education, health, health care, and infrastructure development. The warning notice signed by five civil society groups and a former chairman of Nigeria's Independent National Electoral Commission came in an open letter Friday to Nigeria's president and the National Assembly. The coalition, without providing evidence, accused the United States and France of lobbying authorities in the Gulf of Guinea countries, especially Nigeria, to redeploy troops expelled from the Sahel states. It said the alleged move could have, quote, wide-ranging implications for defense and internal security, end quote, and that hosting a military base in Nigeria could potentially divert state funds and resources away from important local projects like education, healthcare, and infrastructure development. Kabiru Adamu, founder of Beacon Security and Intelligence Limited, says the letter has a political undertone. It looks like it was just based on the desire to create a political outcome. There is no uh, fact supporting the allegation that either the U.S. or France has approached Nigeria for the establishment of um, a base anywhere in Nigeria. The coalition also said the alleged plan to set up a U.S. military base in northern Nigeria could worsen regional tensions with neighbors, cause a notable environmental impact, and worsen the high cost of living for the local population. Nigerian authorities have yet to respond to the letter. Political affairs analyst Ahmed Buhari says authorities must heed the caution. It's what I call interfering in people's spaces. As it is right now, we need our neighbors more than we need any foreigner from whatsoever from any part of the world. The U.S. and French militaries have been operating in Africa's Sahel for many years, helping the region in its fight against terrorism. But a wave of coups in recent years has strained that relationship, with military junta's accusing foreign powers of being overbearing without significant progress against jihadist militants. Some junta's have instead turned toward Russia for help fighting the armed groups. Adamu cautions the letter might be an example of Russian propaganda. There is also the possibility that we are seeing a propaganda machinery by Russia and Niger playing out in this regard. Despite counter-terrorism interventions in Africa, a 2023 Global Terrorism Index report shows deaths from terrorism in the Sahel increased by an alarming 2,000% over the last 15 years. Burkina Faso ranked first among countries most impacted by terrorism. Mali was third, Nigeria eighth, and Niger was tenth. Timothy Obiezu, VOA News, Abuja. Kenya and Somalia on Monday signed an agreement on collaboration in the areas of political consultations, education, and defense. Prime Cabinet Secretary Musali Yamudavadi, who is also the Cabinet Secretary for Foreign and Diaspora Affairs, said in Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, that the three bilateral instruments aim to further solidify bilateral cooperation for the mutual benefit of the people of the two countries. The agreement was possible because of the dedication by our technical officials to address issues. Mudo Davadi said during the third session of the Kenya-Somali Joint Commission for Cooperation, GCC. Mudavadi added that Kenya has a very special relationship with Somalia, not only because they share a common border, but also because of their strong and enduring partnership. Ahmed Moarin Fiki, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of Somalia, said that both countries have also made efforts to enhance cooperation in the fields of security, 
capacity building in the area of health through enhancing the skills of health professionals as well as the training of police officers. He noted that uh, the bilateral relations, relations are given by goodwill and the de determination between the two governments and peoples to work together towards enhancing and expanding the scope and breadth of the relations.